Hey guys, so I started making my homemade peanut butter cups and figured I would record how I do it just because um, they're really good and easy to make and everybody always asks me how I make them and it's really simple. Um, first of all, you want a bunch of Hershey Kisses. I usually get like the 16 ounce bag, I think it is. Peel them all, put them in a container of some sort, just like an empty butter container. And then you need some muffin cups, cupcake cups, whatever. I uh, The foil ones work the best, but the paper ones will work too. And you need, which I don't even have it out of the cabinet yet, but you need peanut butter, the creamy kind, unless you want crunchy peanut butter cups. And you need powdered sugar, which I only have a little bit of it left. But, um... Yeah, I don't measure anything because I'm so used to doing this, so I'll show you how I do it. Don't mind the drying dishes over there. Basically, you take half your amount of Hershey Kisses that you have, put it in a double boiler, which I don't have an actual double boiler, so I'm just using boiling water in that pot and uh, the chocolate up here, and then you melt half of them. Okay, so this is... I've already started making them, obviously, but then you're going to take your muffin tins and I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand uh, I usually use, just use a regular spoon because that works best um, plop it in the bottom and then you're gonna spread it up the sides as deep as you want the peanut butter cups I mean you could do the whole thing and make behemoth peanut butter cups but I usually just do about a third of the way and once I have these done I will come back now you're going to take the shells. Um, I put them in a cupcake tin just because it helps keep the shape better, but I had a bit extra chocolate, so I made about 15 instead of a dozen. Um, so you're going to take the shells, put them in the fridge to harden up. It only takes a few minutes um, while you're getting the, whatchamacallit, peanut butter mixture together. So let those harden. Then you're going to take, I've got about half a jar of peanut butter in here. You're going to melt it in the microwave. It's a lot easier to work with if it's like in liquid form. And I have chocolate over here that's already stuck on the bowl. Um, so just melt it. I put it in for about a minute. So now you've got your liquid peanut butter. And then you're just going to add um, a little bit of powdered sugar. I'd say probably like a quarter of a cup, I guess. I'm not good at judging. I just know how much I usually add in it to make it taste good. This is actually um, like a modified version of one of those top secret recipe book recipes for the legit Reese's peanut butter cups. So you just mix this all up and then you're gonna fill your hardened chocolate cups with this mixture. And I have to go check on Aiden because he's making noises. <laughs> So they should look like this. I use about a spoonful of peanut butter for each one, but I mean you can put as much as you want. You'll just have to make more of the mixture if you use more. Um, these are going to go back in the refrigerator for about the same amount of time. You're going to start melting the other half of the chocolate chips while the peanut butter is hardening up a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely hard just like a little bit firm so that the peanut butter doesn't mix all in with the chocolate. So I'm going to put those back in the fridge and melt this and then I will be back. Now all that's left to do is take, well this is semi-melted but as you keep stirring it will melt. Um, you take the melted Hershey Kisses, about a spoonful again for each to top them off and cover the peanut butter. So all you have to do is literally dab it on top and make it cover until you don't see any more peanut butter and it meets up with the chocolate on all the sides. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do them all. So I'm going to do all of these and then show you the finished product. Now these are what they look like when they're done. As you can see they're like half, uh, half the size of a cupcake tin so they're giant thick peanut butter cups 
Um, these go in the fridge once more for about 20 minutes until they're hard. And I actually have one in the freezer right now hardening up so I can show you quicker what they look like out of the tin. Okay, so a final product. Still could have hardened up a little bit more, but I'm probably got nothing in the shot. Um, looks like a peanut butter cup. And then that is what it looks like. They are delicious and definitely let me know if you try out this recipe.